Hi, I'm Steve Lagerstrom, Corporate Product Specialist for the Park Place Dealerships, and this is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz SLK 250. This one features a 1.8 liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine that generates 201 horsepower. That's going to propel the SLK 250 from 0 to 60 in a very swift six and a half seconds. This car is a lot of fun to drive. I just got done driving the vehicle, and I'm telling you right now, it's hard to have more fun in a car than you're going to have in this one. The SLK 250 is the top seller in the SLK lineup, but there's two other engines available. An SLK 350, which features a 302 horsepower six-cylinder engine, and the SLK 55, the AMG version of the car, which features a V8 engine that generates 415 horsepower. This optional spoiler helps keep the back end anchored to the road at higher speeds. And when you open the trunk with the top in the upright position, you've actually got a decent amount of trunk space. For a small roadster, the SLK 250 has a surprisingly large cockpit. I'm well over six feet tall, and I've got plenty of headroom in this vehicle. The steering wheel is a small three-pronged steering wheel that feels great in your hand. Of course, the car handles phenomenally, as you'd expect from a Mercedes-Benz on the road. With this short wheelbase, it has the turning radius of a golf cart. It's unbelievable how sharp this car will turn. The interior is a nice blend of old-school charm and new-age technology. So old-school, you've got these propeller vents that you can twist left or right to open or close the vents, kind of a nice touch. The new school, you've got high-tech gadgetry everywhere inside the car. Typical of Mercedes-Benz, it's all laid out very intuitively. Uh, if you've driven a Mercedes before, it's not gonna take you long to figure out where everything is and how everything works on the SLK. The retractable hardtop can be lowered using either the key from outside the vehicle or the switch on the inside of the vehicle. The whole operation from start to finish takes only about 20 seconds. You can see it's almost a symphony of technology as this top deploys back into the boot and you have a convertible. The car is a joy to drive with the top down. It does a really good job of wind management, meaning that the windscreen here, the windshield, deflects the air up and over the occupants of the car. I felt very little turbulence when driving this with the top down. You have a stainless steel brake pedal and gas pedal that looks great on the vehicle. Very easy to grip as well with your shoes. For a sports car, the SLK 250 is surprisingly fuel efficient. It's rated 23 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway for a combined rating of 26. Not bad for a sports vehicle. I find Mercedes-Benz seats to be some of the most supportive I've ever sat in, and this vehicle is no different. With the lighter interiors, there's a nice two-tone effect in the cockpit, so you've got black on the door handles, black on the dash, but the seats are a nice light color. This particular vehicle has the optional burl walnut trim, a really nice touch in the vehicle. It's a combination that's very pleasing to the eye. The center controller allows you to access a number of the features on the center screen, so you can use the navigation. It's an option, but if the vehicle has it, you can get to that with this center controller. The audio, phone, video. The SLK just looks high-tech on the inside and the outside, but it retains a lot of its Mercedes-Benz DNA. They've done a really nice job with this vehicle, especially considering the price tag. Thanks for watching this video on the Mercedes-Benz SLK. If you'd like more information on the vehicle, please visit us on the web at parkplace.com, or you can swing by one of our three showrooms. They're located in Fort Worth, Grapevine, and Dallas.